Well, got a phone call at 8 o'clock this morning that our chicks are in. There are 53 chicks in our order. 53. They sent us two free extra and that little yellow one, we're not sure what it is, but it's a meal maker through Meyer Hatchery. Every order, you have the option of having a meal maker, which is basically whether you're letting it produce eggs or if you butcher for meat, that the product of that bird gets donated to, hold on sweetheart, gets donated to um, your local food program to help feed uh, hungry families. So, <laughs> so since we um, got these guys for egg layers, aren't they cute? We got these guys for egg layers. They sent us another egg layer. So, but I'm not sure what kind. Um, so any eggs that that chicken produces, which will be approximately one a day, give or take. Um, <clears throat> probably a little slower in the winter time, but um, then uh, all those eggs um, will be donated to our local food pantry. Look at these guys, aren't they cute? These are black Australorp chicks. And then, like I said, I'm not sure what that little guy is. Uh-oh, he's getting picked on too. Everybody looks good. Everybody had their beaks dipped in their water. So that has electrolytes in there. Are you drinking? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> the kids are in love. It's white. I'm gonna have to get some little river rock and put in there just it's so we don't have white. anybody that drowns. We don't want that. So these will be our egg layer batch. Um, this is a straight run, so we're not sure how many roosters and how many hens we'll have, but um, extra roosters will uh, go to freezer camp. And also since we feed pre-model raw to Anaya, our livestock guardian dog, then um, she will have some chicken from that too. So approximately it'll be about 50-50. Yep, I gotta bring the other oh, lamp down that's over on the other side. But we will definitely be keeping enough roosters to suffice the hens just so we do have some hatching eggs later and the kids get to experience that. And. Um, hey, get off the door, sweetheart. You don't want to make a gap, because if you make a gap, then they can get out. So, yeah. The Miss Turtle over there and the goats are intrigued slightly. Aw, Turtle likes them. She's like, what are you, little thing? They're chicks. <laughs> The rest of the goats haven't even been inside yet, so they have no idea what's going on. But uh, these guys will grow fast. So hopefully Thelma and Louise stay out of here. They haven't been in this brooder. Are you pecking my toe? Oh, they haven't been in, in this brooder in quite a while, so um, they tend to fly up on this ledge and then fly over there and then roost right up there at night. So they don't even <clears throat> touch this area. So hopefully they stay out. But and hopefully when they're older they can be free right <clears throat> This is this is our update today. Surprise new chicks. Been waiting for these guys for a couple weeks. 
Meyer Hatchery did a great job as far as I'm concerned. These guys are super, super good looking. They were just hatched on Monday, and today's Wednesday. I swear. Yeah. But aren't they cute? Black Australorps, guys. These are supposed to be pretty hardy, both summer and winter time. Um, really prolific egg layers, but also considered a dual purpose bird. So in about six months, um, they're big enough for, for butcher. But, um, but yeah, we intend to have lots of egg layers get lots of eggs so we can share and have plenty for our family of six all right we'll keep you updated on them